Hello friends. In last video, we have seen how to fetch data by using a name. So in this video, we have to learn how to fetch data by using some sorting order, descending order, ascending order, or by using some yeah, ID by using a name, which is perform sorted actions. So let's check our last program output. First, relaunch our application. Open a Chrome browser. Type localhost. And here you have to write name. I give Akshay. So this is the record of in database. So in database, I also added one duplicate values. That is a growth term, which is available in six. UID number and also in one UID number. So in that video, we are accessing the data by using a, some sorting order. So let's create method for accessing this data. Just I comment it here. I will create the again method. So here we create the program. Just we have to Only here we have to create the method name. So I am giving find by you name. Order by. We are fetching order by ID. And descending. Pass the U name. So, but here is the one error that tells us to this method is not available in a user repo. So, first we have to create this method. That is the user type. So, I have created one repo find by u name ordered by descending method so let's relaunch our application and check is this working or not open a chrome browser just refresh and select it here so i give as a gautam so here you can see the output. First is a six number, six six root output, and here is a one one number output. That is a Gautam, which is similar regard. So same we can give as a ascending also. So let's relaunch our application. Open Chrome browser. Refresh it. So type Gautam. And here you can see the output in ascending order, which is UID 1 Gautam and UID 6 is Gautam. So once recap our program, I have added in model attribute, I have added a report dot find by u name ordered by uid which is ascending. Here you can perform the descending also. This naming convention is important here. And we have created this method in 
user repository class so that's all about the custom method and also we can accessing the data by using ascending or descending order so you can play with this program and you can access the data and modify the records which you want and that's that is the output of this program so thank you for watching this video